In this video, we are going to learn how to measure lines uh, using the metric system of centimeters. Um, so the first thing that I want to uh, spend some time discussing is the tools that we use in order to measure in centimeters. And it's important that we take a look at our ruler here. And most rulers um, don't have the zero on the very edge of the ruler. And that's because, like most things in life, things get worn out, things get dropped. And uh, as your ruler gets worn out and dropped and uh, utilized, uh, the ruler may begin to wear away a bit. Uh, so uh, we uh, create rulers that have zeros um, just off the, the side of the edge. Um, because as the side wears away, we don't want our zero to wear away. So it's important that we line up our line, that we line up our line with the uh, with the zero right on the very tip of our line, just as we have done here. And as we can see, our line is seven centimeters long. Seven centimeters long. Um, but how many meters, but how many meters would this be? And uh, in this entire unit we've been thinking of decimals um, by using tools in the classroom um, and, the, and we're very familiar with these tools called base 10 blocks. And, um, and one of the tools that, uh, that make up our base 10 set is, uh, is this shape which is known as a flat. And a flat um, is, a, uh, is a square type figure that is made up of 10 longs. And I'm drawing here the longs. And uh, I've drawn a, a rough drawing of a flat with 10 longs. Um, and, these, and these longs are then further divided into cubes, and each long has 10 cubes. And you can see now that each long has 10 cubes in it. So this entire flat Right, this flat is actually made up of 100 small square cubes. Right? So uh, the way that we should think about this is that a flat, a flat can be thought of as one meter. Why? Because just like one meter or just like how one flat is made up of 100 cubes, one meter, one meter is made up of 100 centimeters. So when we visualize this, we can envision this flat. We can envision this entire flat. And we can say that this entire flat represents one meter. This entire flat represents one meter. Um, but our measurement, when we measured this line, this line, this line was seven centimeters long. And if each cube represents one centimeter, then we should fill in seven centimeters. Now our question is, how many meters, how many meters is seven centimeters? Well, we've drawn in seven of our cubes. We've drawn one too many. We've drawn in seven of our cubes. So how much of the flat is covered? How much of the flat is covered? Well, we don't have an entire flat covered, so we know that we have zero holes, right? We haven't used an entire long. 
We haven't used an entire set of 10 cubes, so we don't have any tenths. But we do have seven hundredths. We have seven of the hundred filled in. So seven centimeters equals, equals seven hundredths of a meter. Now, there's another way we can also think of this. There's another way we can think of these types of problems. Um, and this will come later on in math. Um, and it's a little abstract, but let's see if you can follow along. I'm sure you can. Uh, our line was seven centimeters long, and our big question was how many meters? How many meters was this? Um, and if we know that there's 100 centimeters in one meter, there's a, uh, a little, uh, there's, there's a, a little bit of a faster way to solve these types of problems. Um, and that is to take um, our initial measurement of seven centimeters. And we say that we know down here that there's 100 centimeters in each meter. So we can use our decimal point, which would be behind the seven right now, seven centimeters, and we simply move over two place values, two place values, um, in order to uh, find out our, our uh, measure in meters. And why two place values? Because as we move over one place value, we recognize that we're moving over by a power of 10. So we moved over by a power of 10 here, and we move over by another power of 10 here. And 10 times 10 would give us a power of 100. So now our decimal, is located here, right? And that would mean that seven centimeters is represented as seven hundredths of a meter. So now I've given you two ways to conceptualize uh, how we measure not only in centimeters, but measure in meters. I think it's uh, much more concrete to visualize our first method where we dealt with a flat being equal to one meter, because we know that a flat is made up of 100 cubes, and each meter is made up of 100 centimeters. But again, as you move on into math, we'll recognize that as we move to centimeters into meters, we can simply take our initial measurement and move the decimal over by two powers of 10, two place values, power of 10 here, power of 10 here, and place our decimal point there, placeholder zero. So seven centimeters can be represented as seven hundredths of a meter. I hope that helps.